On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, I try to ceramic coat my 2012 Chevy Volt. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Chair Go, and today I'm here at Shift Auto Society in Wichita, Kansas. If you guys watch Seen Through Glasses channel, you just saw this, and we were just here for their open house just like two weeks ago, and my Volt looks rough. Look at all the, I mean, I mean, it's dirty. It looks rough. The paint has always been rough. It's been like this since I picked it up from the dealership. So today, we've got it here with Andrew Holder. He's gonna clean it up for me. It just had some body work done. He's gonna get everything put back together. I just picked it back up from the body shop. Uh, we had like some ongoing issues from a long time ago. It wasn't recently wrecked or anything like that. But this bumper wasn't lining up and they put all that back and uh, this lock button wasn't working. They fixed that. So the Volt is back in working order. And we have this bag here from Avalon King, the sponsor of today's video. I have to give a huge shout out to Avalon King. They sent me uh, the ceramic coating. I'm going to apply it. They say it is a DIYable kit. This is a real ceramic coating that we have to install with a, a sponge and a tiny bottle of ceramic and all that good stuff. We're going to wear gloves. We're going to do it right. So the car's got to get cleaned. We're going to come back in a couple days when the car is clean, pick it up and start our ceramic coating journey. I'll throw a link in the description below to Avalon King and this ceramic coating. I can't wait to get it installed and see how it performs on my daily driver. And of course, that's a great test for you guys to see how it holds up over time because I do put a lot of miles on the Volt and uh, you'll get to see its performance in the wet and uh, how long it holds up. And now we are back in the Abarth, which Zach says is a thousand times better than it ever was before. So what do you think? The coil packs change the car? Coil packs. A little bit further to go, we're almost there. I don't know why everyone was saying we're throwing the parts cannon at it, but this has 120 plus thousand mile motor mounts that were trash. And we put coils on a 120,000 mile car that were probably old. And now we're gonna replace, you know, a full length CV from the transmission. The normal wear and tear. Yeah, we're almost just replacing wear and tear items yes. and solving a problem at the same time. This thing's gonna be perfect. Look at this, the Volt is the best it's ever looked. It's so black and so deep. I love it. Now we have to protect it. The help guy's loud. It's time to open the Avalon King package and pull out our armor shield we got two boxes of it in here. Hadn't even opened it till now, so. Cut our box open here. Armor Shield IX, or Armor Shield 9, nano ceramic coating. Here's what you get in the box. What a nice box. It's fancy. It's high-end detailing gear. Apply, smile, and enjoy. And we've got a sticker, which is pretty cool. Here is our sponge, our applicator. Okay, I'll get the uh, armor shield out first. And we've got a microfiber towel. And we've got gloves to apply it, which is great, because I forgot gloves. I was like, man, I need gloves, it's ceramic. It comes with it. And it comes with another little polishing microfiber and the applicator. So, we've got everything we need. Let's get to work. All right, how to apply. We're gonna read the directions, because anytime you're working with ceramic coating, it's pretty important that you do it correctly. Uh, this stuff, it's not easy to take off if you're wrong. So, uh, apply drops, wrap one small black cloth tightly around the sponge. So it says to use this cloth, and get that out of here. And then shake the bottle and apply several small drops, 10 to 12 to saturate the cloth. So the sponge is actually just kind of holding this thing. And then we're gonna use that microfiber there to actually apply it. Wipe on, wipe a thin layer across the car surface, first horizontally and then vertically. So we're just gonna go like this, and then like this, and just kind of keep chugging. And you wanna do one panel at a time, uh, because when you're done with the panel, you have to buff it off, and it says let it sit between one to five minutes and remove the residue. So you kind of, you're not really in a hurry, it's kind of methodical, but you do wanna do a panel, wipe it off, do a panel, wipe it off. So you don't just kind of rub it all over the car like you would with a wax and kind of keep going. Once done, proceed to apply and then buff the coating one body part at a time for the rest of the car. So, I think we've got it shaken up enough. I hope. And now, get this guy open here. Oh, there's actually two of these. Oh, three of these in there. That's cool. All right, so the back glass is gonna be our hangout spot. 
for all these extra microfibers. Here is our applicator setup. I'm gonna to try to get it right in the middle, because why not? I like it to be fancy, it gives me a good place to hold this, and we can start applying. So, get this open. There's a cap inside the cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It said 12, so I'm trying to evenly coat my sponge here. There we go. There are quite a few drops, really hard to see them on there. Set this right, coating in a safe place. I'm gonna start on the roof because it's probably the hardest part here. I'm gonna just do this panel. So after just that panel, it's starting to kind of soak across the sponge and I think we're getting a little more traction. I didn't really have enough on there to begin with. This time we'll go this way. Oh yeah, now we're getting some coverage out of this. Also, this is the cleanest this car has ever been, thanks to Andrew Holder at Holder's Detailing. He prepped this, and he also used a ceramic prep for me, which is actually better than just the straight IPA. Avalon King recommends just using IPA because that's what most people have on hand, but he actually had a ceramic prep. Use that, and it's awesome. Like this car is beautiful and ready for application. This should hold up for a very long time because it's done correctly. I'm gonna hold the microfiber pretty tight and then push. Try to get it nice and even. We're buffing this back off and it looks incredible. It says we have to let each panel like, sit, well the car needs to sit one to two hours when we're done and uh, cure for a little bit and then you can reapply. Oh, I forgot to put these on but I didn't get any on my hands so I was being really careful at first. But now I think we've got like that nice test panel there. It looks great. The car looks so good. I'm so excited that this is gonna be like a nice looking daily that I can just spray off and the dirt should just fall off with its hydrophobic properties and everything. And hopefully it's really fun to drive. Keep clean. Ceramic coatings are a lot of fun. Got a little bit more on here. Let's do another panel. We're gonna do the big panel. I guess I forgot to go like this first. It feels like we're doing science because there's so much precision here. It's not car science. I love you. I love you and Gabe's um, Chevy Chase reference. Doctor? Doctor? <laughs> oh yeah, that's going on really well. That looks good. I'm finally getting like, the sponge has a little saturation to it now, I think. Also, I talked to my detailer uh, that did this, and he said if this was a cheap product, you wouldn't be able to be in the same room with it. That's why a lot of those guys wear masks and stuff like that. This stuff is really solid. There's no like odor that you can't stand to be around or anything like that. It's honestly just really good to apply. This ceramic coating really brings out the dents. <laughs> Dude, the dents really bring out the dents in this thing. There's, uh, it's got a lot of hail, actually. It's, it looks okay, but unfortunately, I bought it with all that hail on it. Getting the roof buffed off here. And this stuff is coming right off too, it's really nice. So that's the process. Now, just imagine me doing the entire rest of the car. It's gonna take a little while. We'll work over it that much at a time. Just keep on going. And when it's done, we gotta let it cure. I can't wait to pour water all over this and watch it bead. <sighs> Goodbye water. So we're in the basement at Shift Auto Society. Here's Andrew's wild CTS V2 wagon. That thing has all the bolt-ons, it's so nice. Here's the Volt, we're still ceramic coating it, taking our time. There's a Hellcat with some carbon stripes getting polished in the polish room. It looks super nice. And now we're gonna take you guys upstairs and show you what Shift Auto Society is about. This is a membership club that you can join if you're in Wichita and you get to park your car in here. So it's basically just car storage, but it's car storage for automotive guys, right? You know, enthusiasts. So everything in here, look at all these Jeeps and trucks and uh, there's more Jeeps, really nice ones. There's a, that's a, a Red Eye Hellcat right there. So we'll run upstairs, kind of show you around. This used to be a body shop back in the day and it was all redone just for car guys. 
This is a wash bay for uh, you to wash your car in. You know, concrete border so the water doesn't come out. It's got a CR spotless system and a Kranzel high pressure washer wall mounted. Really nice, just back in, clean your car. There's lifts so you can work on your car. A two post, which is the ideal thing to work on your car with. And everywhere else, four posts. So uh, there's a few things in storage here. Uh, we got Leo's Mercy over there and a taste of Italy right there. And then Klaus's Porsche race car. They got in an accident and after the wreck, they cut it in half and built this display out of it. And this used to sit in the basement of his house. And it's such a cool car to see. We've got Lamborghini and Chill Land up here. Doug's beautiful Mercy and Diablo. And of course, Patrick's Aventador that you guys saw us taking delivery of the other day. That was a super fun day. And uh, now it's just chilling up here. Anyway, go give them a follow if you want to. Shift Auto Society on Instagram. time I'd say an hour and a half or so we took a little break in there and uh, you can layer this stuff and have even more ceramic on the cards layers of it right so I this is just the first coating I'd like to do another one but uh, for now it still looks wildly clean it needs the cure time just finished wiping it all down and uh, we've got the scan grip light over here the paint light so we can see the exact colors and it lets us really see if there's any ceramic left over that I need to wipe off but I think I've got it all. It just needs to cure for a bit. And I can dump some water on this bad boy. Now for the finishing touch. Why not? It's black, it'll look cool I think. It fits right down in that corner. Protected by the king. I just like that it says protected by the king. Well, I washed my car, so in keeping with the prophecy, it rained all morning long. So here's the Volt, and we can check out the quality of my coating. It looks amazing to me, and I'm gonna put some more water on there just for fun. Look at that. <laughs> they say that sheeting is better than beading uh, in some of the detailing forums I've read. If that's the case, this thing is sheeting water perfectly. Shout out to FatBasses.tv for helping me out today. He was holding the camera for me and I would apply and he would follow it up with the uh, wiping towel there. So, car looks great and we cut down some of the time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do and I will talk to you next time.